Hey everyone, this is the Mad Hatter back with his bucket of stuff. And today is the uh, ongoing adventure of uh, taking a dowel and plugging up the um, post holes right down here. See if I can get the camera focused on <laughs> these pulse holes right here. And we're going to be using the screws that um, I showed you in a previous video. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be um, cutting off the two pieces and then mixing up a little z epoxy and putting in in at the bottom of the hole, uh, trying not to overfill the hole uh, as I do this. If I do, and it does squirt up a little bit, um, I have a uh, razor that I can scrape off right here. Excuse me while I reach across. A razor right here that I could like smooth off some of the um, z epoxy with. So, uh, before we go ahead and get on into it, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, uh, give me a like, leave a comment, and uh, ring the bell for any future videos that uh, may arise uh, in the future. Okay? Well, well, we just get right on into it. I bought this uh, hacksaw here at the local um, Lulz just a little while ago. I didn't want anything big. Um, I didn't want to splinter the wood or anything like that. So it was only like six bucks or something, you know. Just something big enough or not too big that would uh, splinter the wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, cut off the tips of this dowel. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, when you do this, you really want to be careful um, if you have to do this. Uh, you want to be careful on um, cutting it. So I don't know if you can see that very well. Oops. You want to kind of pull back on it a little bit at first to get it kind of going. And then kind of rotate so you stay outside the line that you drew. There we go, there's one. Pretty smooth cut there. That's a pretty smooth cut. I mean, there is a, if the camera will zoom in on it a little bit. There we are. But there's a little bit of a ridge, but that's gonna be at the bottom. This is gonna be, as I got it marked with a U, up. That's gonna be the top. So I got one more piece to cut.
There we go. So this is going to be, let's see, that's up, but I also got marked with a T because that's going to be the top, um, the top side. So, um, but they should fit pretty good. I also, what I did was I marked them right here. If everything will focus, you can see the mark. And I also put a light mark on the body, kind of, uh, you know, in an, an obscure place. Um, so I can line it up to make sure that the top is going to be um, at the right angle of the body because I think the holes were just a little off. So what I did was I took a pencil and when I stuck the end, let me turn the camera around. When I stuck the end, of the dowel in the hole. I traced around the top edge and then I put a mark where the dowel was gonna go in and then a light mark on the body. And then I just darkened up the line a little bit and um, cut on the outside of the line just to make sure because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand, I'm gonna do things a little bit different. I know I said I was gonna cut these off and um, paint accordingly. But what I thought I was gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and put these in and then I'm going to tape everything off after the dried, of course. It could be about 24 hours or something like that for the epoxy to fully dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and tape it off. And I'm going to tape around this and, paint, and I lightly paint them. Uh, and the uh, humbucker pickup and some of the other stuff I'm going to have taped off so it doesn't get any paint on or anything like that. So what I'm going to do next, my next step is to take uh, equal parts of the uh, finishing resins right here. Take equal parts of these. And put some here. Let me. There we are. That's better. Take equal parts of these resins or resin. mix it in a ramekin cup and then um, take a skewer or if you got like a brush or something like that that you don't need anymore uh, use that and dab or put a few dabs of the uh, resin in each hole not so much that it'll squirt up and all over the body. If it does, that's what the razor's for. Um, but just enough to hold that sucker in there permanently. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and mix those. Zoom out a little bit here. Let 
Okay, and this little, this little secret, or not really a secret, but this little idea just kind of popped into my head because I couldn't find any, um, uh, like Gorilla Glue or anything like that. Super Glue, Gorilla Glue. Couldn't find it. Um, and I started doing some research, and I've only used the, the z epoxy once, and that was to put the sealant on the body. I've only used it once. So, um, I had to do some research and uh, found out that this stuff holds for a lifetime almost, I guess. So, that's what we're going to do. And we want to put equal parts. in here. Don't want too much. Well, it looks like we got a lot, but okay. That should do it. Now, the Z epoxy you have to mix up, of course, and then let it sit for I don't know maybe ten minutes because a bubbles. You start getting bubbles in it. I don't know if you can see it, but you start getting bubbles in the uh, Z epoxy. Yeah, wait about 10, 15 minutes for those bubbles to go away. And then that's the best time to go ahead and start using it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cut right here. Because I don't want to waste anybody's time just watching bubbles. <laughs> and we'll set, this, set that down. And we'll see you in a little bit. All right, here we are. We're back. Oh, uh, we got our Z epoxy all set up. Most of the bubbles are gone. Uh, it's probably been a little bit longer than 15 minutes, but um, it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and drip the Z epoxy in these holes and kind of spread around the edges. Uh, and our thing too, uh, you're probably going like, why has he got all that tape on there? Well, to, to, to be honest with you, sometimes I can be a pure klutz. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to drop any z epoxy on any of the, uh, the handiwork uh, that I did because this is <laughs> it took me a very long time to build and it wasn't cheap. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So, um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take the z epoxy with the pick. Put it down in. And kind of rub it all around. Oops. It'll just be an everyday mistake that maybe Eddie, <laughs> Eddie did or something. And I just kind of spread it around in that hole there. Kind of drip it down in. Being careful that you don't drip it on the body of the guitar. there, but I can chip that off. 
FL all. Possible, I think this stuff will chip off pretty good. That's a long process, but I think one more dab should do it. There. Now we're going to take the one that isn't marked with a T. This one's not marked with a T at all. And uh, so that means that's the bottom one. Now I put a mark just on the other side of this hole here where this tape is. It's really, really faint. You can't see it. It's right, it's right there if you can see it. Right at the tip of my screw screwdriver right there. So the mark's right here. And I will take, put this up, line up my mark with this mark here. And I think if I just push on it, it'll go right in. And there is some on the body. So I'm going to take a piece of paper towel really quick. See, this is me not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> Wipe that right off. And that's pretty much bottomed out right there. So that didn't turn out too bad. Now we're gonna let these dry for 24 hours. No ands, ifs, or buzz. <laughs> like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, and then we'll take, let me get a better angle here so you can see. And fill this one. So you just do it that now if you hit like I said if you have a brush that might be that might work better but I I do have small brushes like this but I use them for something like this. <laughs> well as far as painting goes, I don't want to ruin it with like Z epoxy because Z epoxy will just ruin your brush altogether. Well, maybe not. Maybe if you got like acetone or something like that, that'll probably get it out. Okay, so we got that done. Now, I have another mark for this one um, right here. If you can see that. Right there is my mark. So I'm going to take... this piece and I'm going to match that line up do the same thing with that and 
That's a little higher. But I got a sander and I can sand that right down. So we're going to let those sit for a few minutes. And then I'm going to sand these off. All right. So we'll see you in a few. Hey, I'm back. So, as you can see, I've already started sanding this uh, plug down that was a little, that was just, you know, it's probably a 16th higher or something like that, maybe a couple 16ths. But I'm sanding it down with um, my handheld Dremel here. And I got a uh, 220, a 220 wheel on it, and it's working pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. If you just give me a, oops, just give me a few minutes. Uh, taking in consideration that I am a klutz, <laughs> this might not be perfect. Some of it, or most of it, will be covered up anyway by the Floyd Rose, but you never know. Most of it was covered up by the Floyd Rose in the first place, and the guy automatically seen. The guy automatically seen that I didn't use screws. I used the plugs, and you know anybody who knows the Frankenstrat. I mean, he got he went. I guess he much pretty went deep into looking he kind of blew it up or something like that and he noticed that there was plugs on it in it so <laughs> you would really have to be hot dog that's almost it just a little bit more
Okay, now I'll go to the other one. That's about right, right there. Not too bad. Not my first, from our first time around. As for the guitar. <laughs> so, we're gonna let those sit for a good 24 hours before we mess with anything else because I don't want to go ahead and start screwing in there and everything just let go. So that epoxy in there is going to harden up pretty good and I'll be able to put those screws in. Uh, so I think that's about it uh, for this episode on the... <laughs> Well, I guess you would want to call a rebuild <laughs> or something. Modification <laughs> on uh, my Frankenstrat. So, um, until uh, next time, we'll talk to you guys later. And remember, you know, hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. Give me a like. Uh, sure helps out. And um, uh, ring the bell, you know, just for notifications when another uh, video comes up. And uh, you'll be notified. Ding. Oh, Mad Hatter's got another video up. Let's go watch it. <laughs> you guys take care. Hope you had a great 4th of July. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.